the level of private part collaborations in Mzansi. The intersections. Guys, I swear to you, people don't watch intersections. People don't watch Soul City. With the level of intersections that is going on, I'm Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please uh, follow your sister. Okay, guys, first of all, please, please, please don't forget to vote for your sister. I have pinned it in the comment section down below please don't forget to vote and also we are coming to you from discover tv let us be your stage thank you guys for the response on my previous videos like i didn't expect but thank you thank you so much now let us talk about people that i don't know guys in south africa Guys, I think we're going to get to heaven and we're going to explain a lot regarding South Africa. Why do we have the first divorce bride in our country? So if you are an avid fan of Married at First Sight, you know the character that was a menace on that show. His name was Utami. Tami was married to Zitobile and they were the only couple to break up because very it was never gonna work out we knew from the first day that it was never gonna work out okay utami is now taking his break up with uzi tobile on a national tour yes guys we are unfortunate watchers of this upcoming divorce bride tour okay he will be starting on the 23rd of december going city to city uh doing a braai to tell us that his voice that he barely used in the marriage uh, is going platinum. So if you want to be part of this mess, uh, be on the lookout for dates. Uh, you can see most the picture here. It's got all the dates and all the availabilities and all the tours. What is going to be happening at this tour braai? What is he going to tell us? How to be a divorcee? How to treat your wife bad in a marriage? How to be a what? How to put your voice where? Like, Khwira Khalang. Hmm? As a divorcee myself, a tour is the last thing you are thinking about when you are going or, or, on a divorce. Eh? You are thinking about putting things back together, not going on a tour. But anyway, who am I? Because I am also a, 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 a fellow colleague in the divorce queue. So there's nothing I can say. If Tommy wants to make money out of his divorce, let him. Let him go on a national tour and advertise his divorce. But no, I don't think anyone's going to want Tommy after this. But then again, this is South Africa and we are alive with possibilities. Now, let's talk about another successful divorcee. So you guys remember that a couple of months ago, I reported a story about Asa Vela Mniti being in a tricos meal that she did not know about uh, regarding her marriage, okay? It was Asa Vela and her husband. And then Bukhe Samuel said, I also want to be a dessert in this menu. And then the husband said, Asa Vela, eat this. Eat this part of my, I don't want this marriage anymore. I want to be on Mubango. He left Asavela for Buche and put Buche in their uh, Gauteng home. Allegedly, so on and so forth. And I say that in small letters. Anyway, Asavela said, it's fine. I won't fight. I take this divorce. I give you what you want. Asavela, the way that divorce was so quick, as we speak right now, she's free. She is thanks. Uh, I love how she captioned it on her Instagram, you know. There were pictures of her outside the court. And then she said, uh, Thanks for the experience. Now that is how you do a successful divorce. This is how you can just, you can just put a cut 
to it. Congratulations, uh, prayers and sorrows and stuff, my colleague in the divorce court. You are back to being a miss. Uh, I don't know if you're going to miss being a missus because you really gave us uh, that marriage content. You really did give us. But now, because we knew you before you got married, I knew you from date my family. And when you were the baddest of the baddies, I know, Hori, the streets are in good hands. No, I'm not in the streets. I'm at the stop sign. Please don't. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. Nas, if I lie... Uh -huh. guys okay let us talk about how i started this video when i said intersections and you guys did not watch sister petina and soul city you know what i'm talking about remember when pearl tusi had a baby and that baby is now a grown lady had a baby with walter mukwena the sports anchor remember that walter Mukwena and Robert Marawa were in the same industry, job, friendship. They were in a friendship with Walter, no Robert Marawa. And then Peltusi and Walter did not work out, right? And then a few years later, Peltusi and Robert Marawa were in a private part collaboration. And then people said, eh? Hey, how are you going to be a stepfather to the child of your friend? This child first got to know you as uncle, and now you are Uncle Sbari. How is it going to work out? You know why I am bringing this back? This past weekend, Robert Marawa was in a Twitter war with the Twitter villain himself, Chris XL. They were going at it with each other. And then Chris Excel brought back all that information and said, says the man who became a stepfather to a child of his friend. We were just gagged. We said, who? I said, wow. I said, hey. But then also, I am not one to talk because... There have been times where I dated a boy in a squad. And when you look at the crew, the boys were all looking good. So now, so you're telling me that if Tabo, Tiba, and Tabang are friends, and all of them look good, if I date Tabo and we break up, Tibo and Tabang are off limits. So I can't order on, on the same menu at McDonald's. I must now go to KFC when there's things on McDonald's that I want to try. Do you see you are wrong? You guys are wrong. You see? Because uh, Brooke was not wrong. You know when you are growing up, you think Brooke is wrong for dating uh, uh, Rich, Thomas, the father, the uncle. Ah, I know Brooke. Ah, hey, Brooke, you are wrong. Brooke, so you're telling me that all your rain was poured in the same house. And I'm not talking about the rain of the weather. The rain of your private party equipment. Yeah. The father. The father's son. Hi. <gasps> Brooke also dated her child's husband. No, Brooke. I wanted to defend you, but when I look at your menu, you did not only order from McDonald's. You ordered inside the Big Mac three times. You can't order the Big Mac three times, Brooke. No. Never mind. Karabo. Karabo Muroka. When you grew up, you think she was wrong for dating Tau and that one and having a stembo. But when you are old enough to be in the dating game, you start seeing Hori, no, man. No, there's food at home. There's food at home. So you're telling me that I can only order once from this restaurant? No. I want to taste the salsa. I want to taste the pumpkin. You know? So Upel Tusi, you're going to think she's wrong. But when you're in Pel Tusi's shoes, you're going to see why she's on the face of lovers plus condoms. So she's not wrong. You understand? Girls, uh-uh, don't, don't make like, don't act like. 
Okay, let me leave this video here because people are going to say I'm giving you ideas. People are going to say I'm telling you to go to McDonald's four times. I'm saying just try it twice. I'm just saying, Hori, if the friendship group has three friends, you can date two. But people must know that you only dated one. Where? Now you must just check for yourself. And it's not like this thing has receipts. It does not give you a receipt after. So no one knows. It's going to be you and that person. It's just going to depend if that person is going to tell the whole crew. But to us, we'll just think you dated one. Who unto you if we find out that you dated the whole crew and now I must come here and do a video about you? Because I will chigela you. Me, I'm a hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite. I'm hypocritical and I'm hypocrisy. I'm going to tell you how to date five friends. And then I'm going to come back and say, woo. You were on friends like this. Woo, you were on idols. You're not getting the golden ticket. Woo, this girl ate Sasko Albani and Blue Ribbon at the same time. So, up to you, down to me. Me, I'll sit here and do a video. I will see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.